Hello and welcome back everyone, I am the Otaku, and as promised, I'm going over all the new HUT contracts introduced in the Star Wars Battlefront March update. HUT contracts are a brand new concept to the game, where players have the ability to engage with Jabba the Hut directly and acquire contracts that will reward you with new blasters and star cards. You can access HUT contracts while in your loadout menu and will bring you to an entirely new interface that displays all the available contracts. As I mentioned in my March update video, there are currently two contracts available for regular game owners and eight that are Outer Rim exclusive. Five of the DLC contracts are new items, three are simply to upgrade the previous star cards that you unlock. However, if you don't have the DLC, it's not the end of the world. The two weapons made available to regular game owners are actually very good and my favorite thus far. EA slash DICE has also mentioned that in the future, they do plan on releasing more contracts for free and for DLC owners, so look forward to that. Moving on, the first thing that you need to be aware of is that each contract does cost credits to unlock. There is also a slight overlap when it comes to requirements on some of the contracts, and of course you can work on multiple contracts at one time. So with that being said, I highly suggest you follow this guide to unlock everything as quickly and efficiently as possible. Pulling up all the contracts for you, the first group that you can work towards together is the Combat Rush for the Adrenaline Stim card and Hostile Negotiations for the Dioxys Grenade and then Slug Thrower for the Scatter Gun. Combat Rush requires an objective score of 2500 in the new Extraction game mode. Hostile Negotiations requires 20 smoke grenade uses and blinding 20 enemies with flashbangs. Slug Thrower requires 40 kills with the CA-87 and 20 focus fire charge card uses. The best method for completing this is by going to the Outer Rim playlist, pressing square on your controller so you can select a specific game mode, and then joining Extraction for a few rounds. Keep in mind that after the game ends it will put you back in the regular Outer Rim playlist, so you need to leave and rejoin another game. Coincidentally though, the CA-87 is a perfect blaster for extraction and is very fun to use. If you aren't sure about how to use it, then be sure to check out my blaster review, I will put a link for that in the description below. So equip the CA-87, use Focus Fire Star card, get rid of your jetpack so you can fit both flashbang and smoke grenade, then go at it. All you need to do is play the game mode, get some kills, focus on using flashbangs for combat situations, and smoke grenade for covering the objective. After just a few rounds, you should have no problem meeting most of the requirements to fulfill the contracts. However, more than likely, you will end up finishing Slug Thrower and Combat Rush before hostile negotiations. So immediately after finishing Slug Thrower, go and purchase Slug Thrower Rank 2, which upgrades the Scatter Gun. The requirements for this are very similar. They require 3 Shock Blaster kill streaks, 30 kills with the Scatter Gun, and 15 kills with the Shock Blaster. Once you got that purchased, if you still need to finish Combat Rush, jump back into Extraction Game Mode. If you don't, then let's go to another game mode and continue using the CA-87 with grenades and the Scatter Gun so that we can complete this upgraded contract. After that, we're going to want to go for the Bounty Hunter 1 contract that gives you the DL-18, and the Rhodium Blaster contract that gives you the DT-12. Also at this point, if you've been following the guide, then you should have already unlocked Adrenaline Stim by finishing Combat Rush, so make sure to buy the upgrade contract called Combat Rush 2. Bounty Hunter Rank 1 contract requires 3 Blaster Pistol Kill Streaks, which is 10 kills times 3. It requires 15 kills with a Scout Pistol, and then the Rhodium Blaster contract requires 15 kills with any Blaster Pistol, and 30 kills with pistols on Blast Game Mode. Then finally, Combat Rush 2 requires 20 Adrenaline Stim uses and 20 Personal Shield uses. Now I know that can all seem a little bit confusing, but this is how you do it. Equip your favorite Blaster Pistol with Adrenaline Stim and Scout Pistol on one hand. On your second hand, put on Personal Shield with the Scout Pistol. Then, go into the game mode, and by getting 30 kills with a pistol on the blast game mode, you're going to be getting the 15 kills with a blaster pistol and completely finishing off Rhodian blaster contract. At the same time, if you're getting at least 10 kills per game, then you're going to be accomplishing part one of the bounty hunter contract. So all that's left is to make sure you're using the scout pistol, attempting to get a couple kills with it each game while spamming adrenaline stim, and personal shield so you can finish off combat rush rank 2. 
After roughly three to four blast games, you will be done all three contracts and able to enjoy your new weapons as well as upgrade your adrenaline stim. Moving on, we want to work on targeting trooper that unlocks the DLT 19X and contract killer that unlocks the Relby V10. This is also a very good chance to take care of hostile negotiations rank 2 or finish off combat rush 2 if you didn't get it in the last set of unlocks. So pick up the contracts, add them to the to-do list, and let's get to it. Targeting trooper contract requires 3 targeting rifle kill streaks, 15 cycler rifle kills, 15 headshots. Contract killer requires 3 targeting rifle streaks, 40 kills with any heavy blaster, and killing 15 enemies with any targeting rifle. The last hostile negotiations 2 requires 15 kills with the dioxys grenade, 25 kills with any explosive device, and 20 uses of cooling cell. A targeting rifle is essentially something like the T21B, which is rather difficult to use if you don't know what you're doing, especially in the wrong situations. So if you haven't already, I highly suggest you watch my blaster review video of it before attempting to use it. The link for that is in the description below. So for this we want to equip the T21B, cycler rifle, cooling cells, and put on bounty hunter trait. Then go play some walker assault, supremacy, or turning point. All three game modes are going to offer you plenty of situations that you can do well with the T21, cycler rifle, and this loadout in general. Try to do your best to get at least 10 kills in each round with the T21B so you can get those targeting rifle streaks. Focus on getting headshots, spamming out dioxys grenades, using your bounty hunter pickups, especially the explosives because that's what we need, and then in the end you should be able to finish off targeting trooper, contract killer, and hostile negotiations. Finally, after all that hard work, you will be done with all the contracts and go back to being bored. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully this helped, don't forget to like and subscribe or even donate to support the channel, lots more videos to come shortly, especially on the new Outer Rim content, but until then, as always, may the otaku be with you.